Hi guys, Paula here. So I decided to uh, show a little bit more of who I am. Um, as I said, my name is Paula. I'm your tarot reader for the channel Polythene. Um, I am also a health and wellness coach, a Reiki master, in the process of becoming a yoga instructor as well, as well as a meditation instructor. So all about healing, focus on yourself, you know, helping you, passing you the message that we are all love here and all we have to do is love ourselves first of all and then everything around us just um, transmits that energy as well, okay? So I do hope you enjoy your reading. Um, I will leave in the description box below as well my website if you want to have a look into my website, see if there's anything interesting there for you. And let's get on with the reading. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. For those all the new people out there, welcome to this channel. I do hope you find this channel. Um, my messages are based in love, compassion, healing, and inspiration. And for all of you returning, thank you so much for trusting and returning to my channel. So today we are starting here. For Gemini, getting the energy from the Archangels from the for the month of June 2021. So let's start to get what is the message, what is the energy from the Archangels to Gemini. So we have quite a few cards. I want to follow off. We don't want too many here. So let me just get here two cards for you. So we have Indigo and the Crystal Children with Archangel Metatron and Peace with Archangel Shamuel. This is beautiful. Look at this. How beautiful is this card? So it looks like here some of you actually have a good uh, bond when you're dealing with you have a good connection with children and with people with uh, more sensitive people okay because archangel metatron tells you you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive okay so maybe even you are sensitive at this time during this month maybe there's a special connection um you and children during this month or you may be in your job you're dealing with that or if you have children in your family in your relative whatever it is okay and then we have peace archangel shamuel tells you peace comes from remembering that only love is real like these two cards get together so beautifully okay because you have metatron here dealing with indigo and crystal children and we have peace here where only love is real so there's definitely here a lot of love coming or to children okay it it's very natural because of course when we deal with children they are pure they are pure love okay and then you have here archangel shamuel telling you that to remember that only love is real so there's a very a very soothing, a very loving energy here for the month, Gemini. I feel very, even my voice, it's very calm and, and um, delicate at this time. Okay, so I want to see what the tarot has to say in relation to this, because this message is so beautiful. I just feel like it's so, so beautiful here, you know. It's all about compassion as well. A lot of compassion here with Archangel Shamuel as well. And maybe some of you might be uh, have a tendency to uh, see a lot of doves as well, because in this piece, um, in this piece uh, card, there's uh, Archangel Shamuel is actually holding a dove here. So there's the pure love as well. So a lot of you have a very soothing energy you know, in, in, as well in relation to your um, motherhood sensitivity, okay? So let's see on the tarot, what is the main theme for Gemini for the month of June of 2021? What is the theme for Gemini? What's the theme for the month? So the theme for the month for you, okay, to want to 
fell off, we have Two of Swords and the Knight of Coins. Again, listening to your heart, connecting to your heart, okay? So this Two of Swords as well here tells me that even though there could be a lot of situations around, okay, there is the need to disconnect from whatever is happening around and connect to your heart because it looks like there's a lot of a lot of hard work competition a lot of uh, people trying to pass over each other that's what i feel here so maybe in some situations here there you might have some um some conflicts some uh, sort of competition maybe someone trying to show more uh maybe there's this uh tense um maybe some sort of stress maybe in your workplace in your family maybe even in a relationship so these cards are asking you go within your heart okay go inside your heart and feel from within it could be as well some libra here related into this um or you could have libra very connected with your um your birth chart as well okay so again it's very very strong the message here for you to connect to your heart okay it's it's a, a big call here for you to connect with your heart to be compassionate to believe that love it's um it's the biggest thing in this life okay because love conquers all you know when we are born as a baby we are all about love and from whatever we learn from our gardens, from our parents, this is when we tend to become whoever we are. So it's all about love, being love, about trusting, about working on that, okay? So let's see here now, what do you have to overcome, Gemini? What do you have to overcome in June 2021? What does Gemini have to overcome here? Let's see. So you have to overcome, oh my God, this is all about yourself. It's all about your feelings, your emotions. There's a lot of, oh, so I feel some overthinking here as well, okay, with this um, eight of swords. This is that, um, that feeling that it's like you're trapped in something. What I'm feeling here is like, there's a lot of overthinking and you feel like you're trapped but you're not okay this is your card you're not all right but because look at her she's not tied her hands are free okay the the swords are not touching her she just has her eyes closed uh, like covered but she just needs to get out of this feeling that she's trapped, that she can't move, that someone is, that there's a lot of voices here around showing her that she can't move. So there's a lot of need again here, so strong, so strong for you to connect to your heart, to listen to your heart rather than listening to your head too much. Because when your heart, when your brain and your heart are not connected, there's a big um, conflict sensation here. Okay, so you're your mind it's going completely opposite to what your heart is feeling and this is why these cards here are telling me that you need to connect okay focus on the love focus on um, being compassionate to yourself if there's if you ever done something that you're not proud of or you didn't work really well it's okay we're all learning here our time here on earth in this physical form it's all about experiencing and following your path through experience if one thing works keep doing it if it doesn't change but don't blame yourself for so long okay now let's see what the oracle of the fairies have to say what advice uh, they have to gemini for this month for this reading what is the advice here Okay, protect your dreams, Gemini, protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Okay, so maybe some of you actually have something very dear to you and, and maybe you want to share with the world. Well, take your time, okay? Like, it, it's, it's all about this listening to your heart, your compassion to yourself. You know, you have this very uh, 
connection, this bond with, with children. Maybe you're even going through some um, adoption or something. I really don't know. This just came into me now. So it could be for some specific Gemini here. So keep the things inside you until you are ready. You're starting to put into practice. You're starting to see some blooming, some fruition there. And that's the time that you can put it outside. But until then, protect it through your in your heart okay protect your dreams there you can write them down you can keep it in you you can keep it visualizing over and over again until you are ready to receive and everything starts happening but until then keep them inside you okay now let's see finally what the dragons have to say the dragon path oracle cards what is the message for oh my god it's beautiful for gemini you have peace it's wonderful this is amazing it's all about your intuition it's just she's so beautiful and she's here it's it's very curious because this girl this fairy is here by the water as well and and this dragon is by the water as well you see the the, the lotus flowers there as well okay so let's see what is the message here the special special message for gemini this beautifully gentle dragon encourages us to be kind to ourselves everything we've been here be kind to yourself okay we frequently push too hard in our lives whether this is at work or home we forget who we truly who we truly are and can miss the beauty in life as we become self-absorbed with our worries and anxieties. Oh my God, this is completely the completion of this reading. This is so, so accurate. If she has come to you today, her message is this. Allow me to pull together your scattered energies and feel the sense of peace enter your soul. Every situation has a legacy, but Alice, Occasionally, it can take a little time to appreciate or understand it fully. Accept my presence to help release any negative feelings, for you are truly a creator and immensely powerful. Allow the gentle flow of the universe to embrace you. How beautiful is this? It's all so gentle. Like this month, it's so beautiful for you. It's all about take care of yourself, you know? Be compassionate with yourself. Believe that love conquers all. This is all I can tell you here right now. And listen to your heart, okay? And if you ever feel that there's a big controversy between your thinking and your heart, get into a medita meditative state. Do something that you really enjoy and reconnect with yourself, okay? And then you will find your alignment. I guarantee you will find your alignment, okay? There's a lot of intuition here. Like the fairy has, she has a purple dress going back to intuition. This peace uh, dragon as well comes with a lot of intuition here, a lot of peaceful moments for you to understand and be compassionate with yourself. So really hope you enjoyed this reading. I love this reading. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to do this reading. And until next time, have a great day.